After I got elected governor and we went through the process of putting our cabinet together, there was really only one candidate for Health and Human Services in my view, and that was uh, Mary Lou Sutters. I couldn't agree more. Mary Lou has been preparing for that job since she went to social work school. Her time as mental health commissioner, her time running uh, Mass Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Children, just her entire career really has led up to this job. This is probably the hardest job in the state, and Mary Lou just does it extraordinarily well. One of the things that just amazes me is her ability to be what I would call a social worker, social worker. She's the best of the best in terms of how she sees family and children and community. You know, she is one of the most amazing advocates I have ever met in my entire life. I knew of uh, Mary Lou's uh, background. I knew of her commitment to social justice, to human services, and in particular working with uh, children and families on a whole range of issues. I think she brings an empathy to people who are in situations where they need the services of state government. She's a very effective advocate in working with the legislature, and she's able to connect with families. I think Mary Lou is someone who had the capacity for compassion long before she went to social work school. And the advantage to all of us in the Commonwealth of having her as the secretary is that she has literally held positions all the way up the line in the system. And it is rare to have a leader who not only understands policy, but who gets how all of this is implemented and operated at a human level. She's a strong believer that government should do its very best by the people every single day. But one of the things that I think um, feeds her <laughs> is the ability to know she's making change and that she's engaging other people in that process of change. She's just, uh, she's an incredible human being in many, many respects. Um, I have a deep respect for her and love working with her. Well, everybody who knows Mary Lou knows that she can be uh polite and tenacious and sometimes just tenacious uh, when she cares about something and Massachusetts is one of the first states in the country to pass a mental health parity law and all of us knew that the real driving force behind getting that thing through the legislature and getting it done was Mary Lou. For people like us who are doing the ground level work to have an advocate like that makes all the difference. Uh, almost everything Mary Lou's done uh, over the course of her career is about service and I'd be willing to bet that the vast majority of the people in this audience tonight are people who at one point or another have been touched by, have worked with, or have gotten to know uh, Mary Lou and her work. She is courageous. We feel like we have a champion, all of us collectively in you. Your entire life has been about social justice and it's, it's really nice to see this all tied together in this award. I count her as somebody who matters in this world and who matters in the Commonwealth and uh, this recognition is more than justly deserved. You were the one for this job in this administration and I mean I know I pretended that there was a search going on and we were engaged in a big competitive process and I was talking to all kinds of people but you know between you and me you were it and if you'd said no I don't know what I would have done. And I just want to congratulate you because this is a well-earned and well-deserved award, uh, but it's something that you live every single day and you make me enormously proud.